Hello gang, wanted to do a quick video here before I go to work about a common criticism I hear of Catholicism, and that is Catholics are idolaters. We worship statues and pictures. Now, <clears throat> before I was Catholic, I remember going to a Catholic church to see my cousin's uh, first communion down in Florida and seeing statues lining the walls of the church and thinking to myself, how can these Catholics be so brazenly ignorant of scripture? It clearly says in Exodus chapter 20, verses four and five, God does not want you to make statues of anything ever and use them in religious worship for any reason. Uh, at least that was sort of the attitude I had, <laughs> but it doesn't actually say that in Exodus chapter 20, verses four through five. What it says is, Thou shalt not make to thyself a graven thing, nor the likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or in the earth beneath, nor of those things that are in the waters under the earth. Thou shalt not adore them, nor serve them. I am the Lord thy God, mighty, jealous, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So, if you were to just take those two verses, apart from the rest of scripture and tradition, and interpret them, you could get the idea that a lot of Muslim, that Muslims and a lot of uh, different Protestant sects have, that God doesn't want you to create any sort of artwork or pictures or statues of anything, and especially not to use them in any kind of religious context. And that's where we get people smashing statues. Uh, we call it iconoclasm. <clears throat> it's actually been going on for a really long time. Uh, but actually, just five short chapters after this, in Exodus 25, the Lord God actually commands the Israelites to make statues of cherubim and use them in religious worship. Chapters or verses 19 through 20 in chapter 25. He's talking about the construction of the Ark of the Covenant. He says, let one cherub be on the one side, let the other on the other. Let them cover both sides of the propitiatory, spreading their wings and covering the oracle. Let them look one toward the other, their faces being turned towards the propitiatory where the Ark is to be covered. So clearly there's a contradiction here, right? No, there isn't. The Bible doesn't contradict itself. It's the word of God. But without the guidance of tradition and the church, you could easily say that it does contradict itself. And this is why we need the church. <sighs> What's actually happening here? The first commandment in Exodus 20, God is forbidding polytheism, forgetting, forbidding the worship of pagan gods uh, and what that took the form of in ancient times was people would make statues of pagan gods and worship them as if those physical statues that they made were the gods themselves. This is not what Catholics are doing when they have statues in their churches. The statues and the icons in Eastern Rite churches are simply reminders of saints and angels and great people from Christian history that have come before us and lived holy lives. Uh, it's a way for us to physically manifest when Paul says we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. That's what statues are for. We uh, may pray to God in front of the statue and use the statue as a way to remind and, and focus the mind on what we're praying about. But we're not praying to the statue. We know, we know, believe it or not, that the marble or whatever material the statues are made out of are just marble. We know that. Okay. They're just reminders, just in the same way you might carry a picture of your son or your daughter or your wife in your wallet to remind you of this person that you love so much. That's all they are. And believe it or not, Protestants use religious statues too, just like Catholics, but they only do it around Christmas time when they put statues of Jesus and Mary and three pagan magi from Persia and little animals and things in their front yard and use them to remember the birth of Christ. We do the exact same thing. We just do it all year round and we do it for all of Christian history. So you are now informed and have no reason or excuse to say that uh, Catholics are idolaters because we are not. In fact, we fight against idolatry. Uh, so look into the heresy of iconoclasm. Uh, this was settled, especially St. John the Damascene in the sixth century church father wrote about the iconoclast and settled this, uh, Totally. And it's it's been a settled issue in the church for over a thousand years. So if you're still hung up on it, you need to get with the times.